There are lines all around us. Whether we're driving, sailing on a sailboat, or walking down a bridge. There are many different types of lines. Let's look at a few examples of these lines. Oh hey, here's a line. Well, what would we call this line? It's straight, and it continues endlessly up and down. We would call this line a vertical line. But wait, what if I took this same line and laid it on its side? Well, this line is still straight and it continues left and right. We call this line a horizontal line. Now, where can we see examples of vertical and horizontal lines? Do you know what this is? This is a really big bridge near San Francisco. This central column is a vertical line since it's straight and continues in the up and down direction. This road is a horizontal line since it continues endlessly left and right. Cool, but wait, I have a question. Do you see any other kinds of lines in this picture? Make sure to leave your answers in the comment section below. And please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Anyways, let's turn back to the bridge. We know that this central column is a vertical line. And it meets this road, which is a horizontal line at this point. Well, what do we call these lines? We call these lines perpendicular lines. But what is a perpendicular line? Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at a 90 degree angle. Let's draw them. Here, I've drawn a vertical line and a horizontal line. And they both meet at this point. We can call these perpendicular lines since this angle is 90 degrees. Any two lines that meet and form a 90 degree angle are called perpendicular lines. Remember our bridge? This column is a vertical line, which meets the road, a horizontal line, forms a 90 degree angle. So this is a cool example of perpendicular lines. Now we've looked at vertical lines, horizontal lines, and perpendicular lines. But what about parallel lines? What are parallel lines? Parallel lines are two lines that are the same distance apart and never meet. Let's draw a pair of parallel lines. Here, I've drawn a pair of parallel lines. These are parallel since they continue in the same direction, up and down. And since parallel lines have the same slope, they are the same distance apart and will never meet or cross each other. Let's draw these parallel lines on a graph. Like those lines, these lines are also parallel. They continue in the same directions. And since they have the same slope, they are the same distance apart and will never meet or cross each other. Well, where can we see an example of parallel lines? This is a lonely road. And believe me, 
you wouldn't want to be here alone. As we can see, there are two white lines on either side of the road, here and here. These two lines are parallel lines since they continue endlessly in the same direction and they are the same distance apart and will never cross each other. They also have the same slope. But what does it mean if they have the same slope? Find out in tomorrow's video.